everybody, Iku here. Today's video is about do 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 character customization and the Nintendo 3DS games that come with the feature. It seems like people either love it or do not give a single shit <laughs> about it. I, however, am one of those people that absolutely loves the ability to be able to customize everything and everything in the game. So, uh, let's dive into my top 5 favorite Nintendo 3DS games with the character customization features. Number 5, Pokemon X and Y. If you don't already know, Pokemon is a turn-based RPG where you are a Pokemon trainer trying to beat the Elite Four by catching and forcing ferocious monsters to battle. In X and Y, a ton of new features were added to the game, such as battling online and, you guessed it, character customization. You can choose your gender, skin tone, head over to the salon to get your hair cut and colored into a bunch of different style options, and dress your trainer up with hundreds of clothing items available in the shops located throughout the game. Here's my trainer. For some reason, all of this character customization was not included in the later games, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Number 4, Fire Emblem Awakening! This is a tactical role-playing game focusing on movement of characters across a battlefield fighting enemy units in war. Don't let this description scare you away if you're more of a mild gamer since there are difficulty settings that can really help if you suck. Fire Emblem Awakening is a story about the Avatar having no memories and helping Krom defend the Fire Emblem from this evil dude who's trying to get a dragon to destroy the world. Crazy, right? The storylines and artwork are absolutely amazing, but let's get down to the good stuff. You can customize your gender, hairstyle, and color, face, body, size, class, and heterosexual marriage with a child included. I can't believe you made me love you. Of course, if you back out, I'll murder you in your sleep. I confess, I do have feelings for... God, must all these emotions be so vexing? Number 3, Fire Emblem Fates. Fire Emblem Fates is a story about a war between royal families, your birth family, and the family you were raised with. You have to pick sides, and holy hell, the storylines are intense. This game allows all of the same customizable options as Awakening, in addition to including the option to have same-sex marriage, but only to Miles in Conquest and Rajat in Birthright. I haven't played the third path yet, so I'm not sure if you have a choice between the two. Do you have any idea what you're getting into? I sure hope not. I've got you right where I want you. And I'm never going to let go. This does not allow you to produce a child unit, though. Another huge addition to the list is the My Castle, which is a customizable base of operations. This is where you can have your own house, in which your spouse will eventually move into, organize and upgrade all of your shops, including an accessory shop that you can use to make your characters even more nifty, and all of the other objects and whatever the hell you want. This can be shared online and used for battling and leveling up. Number 2, Fantasy Life. This game's title accurately sums up what the game is about. You get a cute little chibi version of yourself, or whoever, and choose a life. There are 12 life classes to choose from, and you can change it anytime you please. I haven't finished the game yet, if that's even possible, but the storyline so far is actually pretty interesting. The life you choose dictates what you'll be spending a lot of time doing, such as if you're going to be a tailor, you'll be making a lot of clothes and running errands for your boss while continuing the storyline. Here's what you can customize. There's a very extensive character creator right from the start. You can choose gender, skin color, hairstyle, and color. Eyes, nose, and mouth are all separate choices. Body size, your life, your house, and its interior decoration, clothes, and even pets. 
There are a ton of clothing and furniture options, including extra downloadable content. And now, my number one pick for the most customizable game on the 3DS. Animal Crossing New Leaf. This is a life simulator where you are the new mayor to a town inhabited by a bunch of cute animals. It is your job to make them happy. It sounds dumb, but this is truly an awesome game, essential for those who love to customize. You have 99.9% .9 control over everything. Isabel is sometimes an asshole about where you place things, but we'll get back to this in a bit. You start off talking to a creepy bug-eyed cat named Rover who asks you questions in which your response will change your face and hair. You cannot change the face later, so make sure you cheat and look online for the face that you want as a lot of the faces look like creepy clown fucks. You can later change the hair in the salon. You name your town whatever you want and even choose the map that you want. You can change your clothes exterior and interior of your house, fill the museum with art and fish, and literally change the entire town. If you have the willpower, you can even choose who lives in your town. Once you get closer to villagers, they will start requesting public works projects, which allow you to gain access to things like streetlights or pretty bus stops. There are a ton of public works projects out there, guys. Do not let me fool you, but you do need to run where you place them by Isabel. You can also plant two different types of trees, a bunch of different flower species, and most importantly, use QR codes. This gives you so much artistic freedom from making your own clothes to drawing your own paths. Here's an example of what I've made. Bam! With all these options, the towns I've seen have ranged from being morbid as fuck to vibrant cities to winter wonderlands. The options really are endless. Warning, you might lose your life to this game. What? What the fuck? If you already own the game and you're interested in seeing my town, my dream code is 4300-4281-3400. All right, so there you have it, folks. There is my top five favorite Nintendo 3DS games that have the feature of character customization. So um, if you like this video and you wanna leave a comment, go right ahead. Thank you so very much for watching this video, you guys. Um, and I really hope to see you guys soon. Goodbye. Nothing is stronger than my love for you. Except my biceps.